What's poppin', y'all? We got to <laughs> talk a lot. You know, we say this all the time. You guys at home are, are why we do this show. Yes. So with that being said, we want to talk directly to those who love us like we so much love them. Time for us to have a segment we like to call Ask the Sisters. Yes. So what's the first question that the people got for us down to the streets? <laughs> In this industry, I've been in this industry maybe seven years, and fake is to do real, and I don't feel like I fit in. How do you guys fit in? Fit in. Oh, um, she said fake, is, fake is to do real. No, it ain't, girl. Fake is fake. Yes, it's exactly. yes. It's never been real, honey. Yes. So don't you worry. You just keep being real. <laughs> yes. You stay true to yourself, okay? And everything that you want to do will come around for you. That's just right. wait for it. Those other little crews and groups and jobs and everything you're going for, they mm -hmm. may not be for you. Fake is not the new real. Boom. Well, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say what about she that. Yeah, what she said. Yeah, uh -huh. th there's no reason to be fake for anything. I think authenticity always wins. Yes. Yes. You got to be who you are now. If this, you, you say something or do something that may be a mistake in the public eye and you want to apologize, that's fine. But trying to ch change who you are yeah, to fit in, nah, mm -hmm. sis, that don't work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you never have to keep up with the truth. Ooh. 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 Come, and it never changes. Yeah. It never changes. Trust me. Fake sales class prevails. Ooh. Ooh. Let's move on. Yes. Oh. Yes. Period. Yes. <laughs> okay, do we have one more question? <laughs> Trina Bryson, I'd like to know when you'll be keeping your name or will you be using your marriage name? Ooh. Uh-uh. <laughs> I'm going to do both. I'm going to hyphenate. It's going to be Trina Yvette. Braxton Scott. Yes. Oh, yeah. And what was your decision to do that? <laughs> because obviously your professionally known as name and name is Trina, Trina Braxton. Braxton. Yes. So no matter what, whenever my checks come, whether it comes in Braxton's or scales, I can both of them cash either one. Yeah. Anybody else? Selena, did you? Did you? I mean, because you have a stage. Let me start. Be quiet. Um, I did <laughs> not hyphenate my name because Selena Johnson is not my real name. Right. Mm -hmm. That's so there's no, no need to hyphenate it. <laughs> right. So I, uh, I, uh, Smitty was like, so you don't want to be like Jada Pinkett Smith and be Rashawn Ali Smith? And I was like, no. <laughs> Uh, so when I do like my nonprofit work and when I get checks, it's Rashawn Ali Smith. But my PKA nice. is Rashawn Ali. And actually, I've told you this, ladies, before uh, that my real name is Rashawn Ali. But that's my first and middle name. Mm -hmm. So yeah, love you, Smitty, baby. But that Smith was very common. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not common. It's fine. <laughs> From the street. Yeah. Yes. My question is for Selena. My question is Is it better to first be an independent artist and work your way up and build your brand before you sign to a major label? Mm. Mm. That's a good question. That's a good question. And I will say this it really just depends on the situation. Mm -hmm. You know, um, if you have an opportunity to sign a record deal with a, a full, you know, bodied label mm -hmm. and you have the, the proper team mm -hmm. behind you, mm -hmm. yeah. an already established team of your own, mm -hmm. then I would say go ahead and pursue that yes. opportunity. Yes. However, if you don't have you don't have an adequate team, it's just you and maybe a manager, I would say Spend a little time doing it on your own and get a little mm -hmm. more um, depth in the industry mm -hmm. of knowledge mm -hmm. first before you yes. step into with a major. Let me, let me ask you this because you've done both yes. and you've been able to learn from each part. Yes. So and now you've come from being independent and you just signed with E1. Like, yes. how has that prepared you mm -hmm. to be a better artist just because of the different sectors of your life and being independent? There and being you go, signed. going to work. Come on. There go. you go, going to work. <laughs> We're trying to have a regular vacation. I mean, <laughs> There you go, work. Uh, that's, a, that's a very good question, Rashawn Ali Smith. Uh, actually, uh, I did that one for Smith. Uh, actually, um, that is a very good question. And I and I have to tell you, I, when I first got in the game, um, I was on my dad's label, which was independent. But then mm -hmm. I went to Jive Records, which was a huge label. Mm -hmm. And I was on there for eight years. After that, I went independent, independent by myself. And what I, the difference was, I didn't really know what was happening when I was on the major label. Mm -hmm. And then when I got my own label, I knew what was happening. Mm -hmm. So now when I'm in this label situation, mm -hmm. I am both sides of the coin. Yes. I know all the intricacies of, of, the, of how labels work, what I should be doing, my responsibilities. So this situation is much, 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 much better mm -hmm. um, than it was back when I signed with Jive Records. Well, you know, but back in the day, though, they would help polish you. Yeah. They did. But now they want you to be already ready 
already. Yes. They want that package already done before they even sign you to a major. So yes. it, right now, me personally, I think it is better to become an independent artist to get yourself acclimated to what the uh, the labels really want now because yeah. they're not taking people it, it, who that's a great point. are not already polished already. Yeah. Yes. You have to right. actually. They're just not doing it anymore. You, you, and you want to come to a label with a package yes. because yeah. that way you have ownership. Yes. Yeah. You don't want to just walk in the door and say, make me nowadays. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, that's what they did. Yes. Yeah. But they don't do that anymore. And if they do that, there's going to be 360 deals and Ooh, ownership. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got oh time for that. All right, then. With that being said, let's go to our next question. <laughs> Ask the sisters. <laughs> Hey, my question is for Rashawn. I want to know, I, you know, I know that you're from Decatur, but if you could live anywhere else in the world, where would it be? Anywhere, Thailand, South Africa, where would it be? That's a good Ooh. question. He in, wants to know where would you live? New York City, baby, in Manhattan. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, I love New York. I have been there a couple of times, and every time I'm there, I, it's something about New York that makes me feel like next level mm, for I some reason. And uh, I would absolutely live in New York. Oh, I wow. would too, Rochelle. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you on that one. If it was between LA and New York, I would totally live in New York. Really? Yes. I'm more of an LA girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love yeah. LA. Yeah. You be yeah. down there snatching yeah. edges and <laughs> cussing folks out every 50 seconds. <laughs> And thriving at the same time. Of course. I exactly. Yes. I don't like the hustle bustle. It's, I like Vegas, but Ooh. the suburbs of Vegas. Okay. Ah, yes. Oh, it's so amazing. It is. Yes. Because it's you get nice the whole LA low. feel, but you get to pay the prices of like Georgia. Yeah. Yes. Really amazing. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah. That's true. For real? Yeah. Yeah. Vegas is very good. It's a little expensive. boring, but yeah. it's cool. Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you it's get good. off the strip, it's yeah, boring. It's, it's, it's boring. very, very quite contrary. Okay, then. Well, that was a great question. We love those questions. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Well, guess what? We have more questions to ask when uh, we return. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. And just like that, we're back. And we <laughs> still have more questions to answer in our segment, Ask the Sisters. Take a look at the next video. Hi, this question is for Quad. Now that you're newly single, would you allow your sister circle sisters to hook you up on a date? Oh, oh. oh. Would you guys like to partake? Yeah. I think it'd be a great idea. Really? I think so. Mm -hmm. All right, we got yes here. We have yes. Oh, do we have yes here? We should do it on the show, Quad. Well, then let's do it. Yes, yes. 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 Absolutely will. These girls know me, know me. Yes. So absolutely. Oh, yes. uh, that'd be so yeah. fun. Lord, that's going to be so hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be that hard. That's so tough. We're going to have to fly out. We gonna have to, somebody going to have to yeah. get flued in. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Somebody flew in. Bring them in. Bring them out. Let's yeah, do it. Let's do it. All right. Let's All see if we right. can let's shake see. that. But yeah, absolutely. Let's see if we have another question. Okay, let's see. I love fashion. I've been following fashion forever. And I have a question for Selena. How would you describe her clothing style? Oh, okay. Oh. Well, oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say it's sexy, classy. Mm. Yes. Okay. Um, I like to mix it up, but I like to be tasteful. Mm -hmm. Yes. I like, and I, I'm very, I'm very big on, you know, I like curves and things of that nature. But I just, I'm really into class. I saw Diane Carroll. Yes. Down Diane to Carol. the um, dynasty. Di down to the dynasty, mm -hmm. but she was on a talk show. I think it was a senior hall show mm. back in the day. That's probably before your time. But she was talking. <laughs> About, oh, you sound like Brenda. She was talking about um, <laughs> ladies and exploiting themselves in the industry, mm -hmm. and she was just like, that's what she really said. That's where I got that statement from. Mm. She was like, honey, sex sells, but class prevails. Mm. And I was very young when she when I saw her say right. that, so I always stuck with you. Tucked, I always kept that with me forever. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. That's good. We so got I try to I try to dance the line between yeah. sexy and classy. Yes. That's All nice. right. We have one last question. Mm. My question is for Trina Braxton. Who is your closest sibling? Is that oh fair? My gosh. That's not is a good it, question. It's kind of an unfair question. Um, I, I think it depends on the situation. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes we have things that we go through that, that, and Bring it's similar, closer, yeah. you know what I mean? Like if someone's going through a divorce, hey, guess what? We're going to lean on to each other because I've right, already right, been right. through too. Right. Or mm -hmm. if like, you know, someone's raising kids, I've already, you know, right, right, right. Yeah. done that. If they're having, you know, meanagers, and I'll tell them, you know, how to deal with right. your meanager. <laughs> you know, so it, it's kind of situational. Um, a lot of times people see Tawana and I together because we live in the same state, mm -hmm. you know, um, but it doesn't mean that anyone is any closer than the other. Mm -hmm. It just depends on whatever somebody's going through at any given time. So at basically any point in their lives. all of them at yeah, some point. Yeah. But we'll sit on the phone and we'll like, all of us get on the phone and we'll all talk together, all yeah. five of us on, you know, and nobody can 
be in the room and talk while mm -hmm. we're talking to each other. Right. Because yeah. it's sister time. Yes. yes. I love that. Uh -uh. Trina. I love that. This is great. <laughs> it's sister time. It's sister time. It's, sister time. Sister time. it's time. good. It's good. Well, thank you so much for the great questions yes. and thanks for joining us today on Sister Circle. Can we give it up for our production team? Yes. 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 We love you we're guys. So